We're given the vector valued function r of t and asked to find r of zero, r prime of t, and r prime of zero. Or r of zero would be a vector where the terminal point of the vector would be one point on the curve given by r of t. r prime of t would be another vector valued function where if we evaluate r prime of t, it would give us a tangent vector to the curve. So r prime of zero will be a tangent vector to the curve at t equals zero. And to find r prime of t, for review, we need to find the derivative of the x, y, and z components of the vectored valued function. Let's begin by determining r of zero. So find r of zero, we'll substitute zero for t in r of t. So we'd have negative two times zero squared minus five for the x component. The y component would be three e raised to the power of negative four times zero. And the z component would be four times sine of negative two times zero. So simplifying, the x component would be zero minus five or negative five. The y component would be three since e to the zero is one and the z component would be four times sine zero, and since sine zero is zero, the z component would be zero. So again, the terminal point of this vector would be one point on the curve given by the vectored valued function r of t. And now let's find r prime of t. So we'll find the derivative with respect to t of the x component, the y component, and the z component. So the derivative of negative two t squared minus five with respect to t would be negative four t. The derivative of three e raised to the power of negative four t would be three times e raised to the power of negative four t times the derivative of negative four t, which is negative four. The z component would be the derivative of four sine of negative two t, which would be four times cosine negative two t times the derivative of negative two t, which is negative two. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. So the x component is negative four t. The y component would be negative twelve e to the negative four t. And the z component would be negative eight cosine negative two t. So now to find r prime of zero, we'll evaluate the derivative at t equals zero. So r prime of zero would have an x component of negative four times zero, a y component of negative twelve times e raised to the power of negative four times zero, and a z component of negative eight times cosine and negative two times zero. And simplifying one more time, the x component would be zero, the y component would be negative twelve times one or negative twelve. And since cosine zero is one, the z component is negative eight. So again, this vector here is a tangent vector at the point on the curve when t equals zero, and it points in the direction of increasing values of t. So let's look at this graphically. So the curve is graphed in black. R of zero is this purple vector here. Notice the terminal point is one point on the black curve. And I graph the tangent vector twice. In component form, it would be this red vector here. But if we move the initial point to the point on the curve, notice how we can see it is a tangent vector. Let's pause this. So notice how this is the tangent vector. And it's pointing in the direction of increasing values of t, which means as t increases, the curve is traced in this direction, or has this orientation. So once again, the black curve is r of t. This purple vector is r of zero, where the terminal point is one point on the curve, and the red vector, graphed twice, is r prime of zero, which is the tangent vector. In component form, this would be the graph of the vector with the initial point at the origin, but if we move the initial point to the point on the curve when t equals zero, it would be this vector here which we can see is a tangent vector to the curve. I hope you found this helpful.